Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My constituents, Nick and Aileen Walker, registered as hosts on the 14th of March and have been touching of, in touch with a family from Ukraine that they wish to host, a grandmother, mother and 11-month-old baby daughter who registered their applications on the 18th of March. So can the Minister confirm how long people will be expected to wait for this visa paperwork to be processed? Because it's increasingly difficult for families such as these to wait uh, in insecure accommodation in a range of different countries uh, in Europe when they should be in a place of safety and sanctuary in Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. As touched on, you know, we are now seeing the rate of visa grants accelerating. We should that's, to continue to see that over the next week. We would expect to see the majority of cases that are currently being decided fairly, fairly shortly. And you know, again, you know, we're very conscious that people do want to get settled in. Whilst I'm at the dispatch box, it is welcome to say it's great to see again, again the community in Glasgow standing up on this scheme in the way it has on every other uh, refugee resettlement scheme and to support those claiming asylum here in the UK. Wait a minute. And I'll take no lectures from her um, about heartlessness. Particularly, Mr Speaker, in light of the uh, lack of take-up of the dispersal scheme for those people that need housing um, that come to the United Kingdom. So, you know, for those fleeing persecution, I, I would absolutely say that she and her government need to look at themselves.